Here we have a uh, 1955 Alice Chalmers WD-45 diesel and uh, it's a warm summer day so it will should start easy. I've had it running earlier today. Uh, normally on a when I come out and if I want to use it I'll shoot just a shot of ether into the intake there at the breather and after I preheated it just a little bit and it'll take right off. Uh, today I'll just preheat it a little bit and it'll start right up but then I'll drive it around a little bit. Show you that uh, it has very little smoke just a little bit when it first starts up and uh, drive it around here a little bit and let you watch it as I move it. Now I'll take the camera up closer and show you some close-up shots of it. I haven't cleaned it up at all. I've used it uh, a little bit this spring to sow some oats with it. Uh, you'll notice the sheet metal is real good. I'll point out a couple little flaws in it that you can't really see very well. but. It's not uh, perfect. I'll go ahead and shut it off so you can hear me better. You'll notice up here in the right front corner is a little ding that needs to be taken care of when it's uh, sandblasted and painted. And then right back here along the hood where the, uh, just below the gauges, it's a little bit rough right in here, but nothing, nothing serious. I think you can see pretty well along there. There is a bolt or two missing here and there, like for instance, um, right here by the gauges, there's a bolt missing, and then up front here in the lower part of the hood, there's a bolt missing. I think there's one on the other side also that's missing. Battery box uh, has some rust, needs to be either replaced or uh, I think it's good enough shape it could be 
filled in and fixed fairly easy without much expense. The uh, preheater switch there works fine. It preheats the uh, unit in the manifold. The rims are good, but uh, of course when they're sandblasted and painted, make them look like new. But uh, there is a little bit of a rough area around the valve right there. Nothing real bad. It's not eaten out by any means. The right rear fender has a, a couple of dings in it. It can be fixed. A couple of little areas right there. There's a little tear in it, probably where they turn too short with a pulling a hair or something behind it got caught in the uh, wheel and pulled it up there. The left fender is in real good condition. Toolbox is good. It doesn't have the original tail light. There is some holes up there where they had a radio perhaps or something at one time. There is a hose, I see it needs to be replaced up here on the injection pump. It's been there a long time. Radiator hoses look good. I'll start it up one more time here with the camera close by. Holding the preheat switch down there right now for a few seconds. Couple of things I forgot to mention, I'll, and that's the uh, hydraulics and the power takeoff. And I'll, with the camera running here, I'll go up and raise the lift arms and turn the power take on and off.